Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve inequalities and graph their solution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given two examples here. We want to solve each one's inequality, graph the solution on the number line, and write the solution in interval notation. Let's start with our first example here. Negative 13m is greater than or equal to 65. Now, to get m by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 13. Just like we always do if we're solving for something here. Opposite multiplication is that division. m comes down, it's by itself, these negative 13s cancel. And on the right hand side, 65 divided by a negative 13 is a negative 5. But be careful with the inequality. One of our rules with inequalities is if we multiply or divide by a negative number over an inequality, the sign switches. So a greater than or equal to sign becomes a less than or equal to sign. That's the tricky spot here. Now m is less than or equal to negative 5. We can graph that. Make a number line here. We'll start with negative 5 in the middle and negative 4 to the right, negative 3, and negative 2. To the left, negative 6, and negative 7. m can equal a negative 5. We put a closed circle right there. m is less than negative 5 as well, so we put the arrow to the left. Now, we want to write this also in interval notation. What's the lowest value that m can be? Well, it's all the way here to the left. That's negative infinity. Negative infinity there, and again, make sure you put a parenthesis we're next one, negative infinity. We can go all the way up to a po or not positive, all the way up to a negative five. So negative five is the upper bound here, but since we can equal it, we need to put a bracket. Not too bad. Let's dive into the next example here. Again, we have n over negative two is greater than or equal to eight. We want to get n by itself, so we multiply both sides by a negative two. Not too bad. Negative 2's cancel right here, and we have n by itself. 8 times a negative 2 is a negative 16. But again, notice we're multiplying by a negative number over the inequality. So this sign now flips. Greater than or equal to becomes a less than or equal to. And so we have n is less than or equal to negative 16. Let's go graph this inequality here. Let's put negative 16 right in the middle to the right, negative 15 negative 14 right there. To the left, negative 17 and negative 18. Now n is equal to a negative 16, which means we put a closed circle right there. n is also less than negative 16, so the arrow goes to the left. We have our graph now, so let's write it in interval notation. The lowest value that n can be is negative infinity, right all the way to the left there. Again, parenthesis, negative infinity here, comma to the highest value, which is a negative 16, almost a positive, but it's a negative 16. And again, we can equal negative 16, so we put a bracket. And there we have our interval notation that matches up with our graph with our solution. So we have two examples here, which we did all that. We solved each inequality, we graphed that example there, or the solution, and then we wrote our answer in interval notation. I hope you learned something here on how to solve inequalities and graph their solution. If you didn't, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.